Black, black, their asses, bringing them coffin. Them dead of them test cosmic. Black, black, their asses, bringing and them coffin. Cosmic, are they Brooklyn, man, where they can't defend themselves there? Global Clash, mm -hmm. 2011. You made it to Tune for Tune with Addies, but there was a particular dub in that dance that was played that was very significant. You played a special from Addies, a selector, the selector that built Addies' box, <laughs> with, with, with exception to Danny Dread. But Babyface cut a tune for Cosmic in that dance. You have to discuss that. We, 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 we got to know what, what went on with that. Why did that tune come about? You got you got to look at it from, from that time period. At that time period, um, everybody know Babyface and at ease. I think Babyface, either a month or two before, just whatever happened, he wasn't part of you Addies. He got fired from Addies. He, <laughs> 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 whatever, whatever the situation is, he wasn't part of Addies. So, me personally, as a, as a, as a Clash fan, you know, I just took a look look back at the whole global clash and said, what's going to, at the end of the night, raise people's eyebrows? What's going to make people say, oh, yo, we can't curse in here right now. Okay. What's going to make people say, oh, shit, yo, what the fuck, yo? So, you know, I thought of baby face and I said to myself, you know, I'm not going to say I, not me alone, but me and a couple of, let's say, let's call them confidence, thought of, thought of just, somebody came with me with an idea, and I, I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I brought it to them. And they always like, mm, maybe, you know, you it know. Won't happen. You know, the, our biggest concern was he was going to cut the dub and then counteract it. So we was, we was kind of shaky about doing it, but, you know, I, I said, you know, we have nothing to lose. Let's, let's just go for it. So I, I contacted him, and he was with it. And the rest is history, you know. And I, and I said to myself, I said, I can't just be babyface alone. I said, it gotta be, it gotta be something, you know. So, you know, I, I, I linked, I linked, I linked Cableton, and, and it, the rest was, you know. Shout out to babyface. We know you had to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and as a matter of fact, that dub plate was cut literally maybe three hours before the clash. That's true. Wow. It was cut like. Should have said that. Babyface. That's I said that. Guy. The baby face. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, that, was, that was that was that was the last tune that was cut ah, for that class. It was that cut. Shit came in at eight o'clock. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eight o'clock. Exactly. Can I get that one official statement, Dominic? Can you please edit that shit in right there? Um, the last dub. Mm -hmm. cut for our oh yeah. Um, for for global class that the the cable tune and baby face. That that dub was cut. We literally got that at like three four hours before the clash. You know because it was something that. You know, I felt that it was one more thing missing from from the box, and it was something that I made happen literally within a day. And y'all got a big forward for that. Yeah, yeah, it worked. It, it, one it of the biggest forward it for the night. Right? Yeah, it, was it, took, it took a little time though, cause I jumped down in the crowd and the sound wasn't working. I think it, it took I, a little time. Yeah, well, that was said about the Addies yeah, fans. You know how they, I, I, yeah, I jumped down in the crowd right, and yeah. I gave them the microphone. Yeah. Big up next level, say wait, but we know y'all trying to sabotage us. Nah, we know y'all trying to sabotage us. Nah, nah, next level love us, though. Nah, but they, that, that next particular level, night. Me. Next level love us. Huh? That particular night, they try to sabotage us. Right. But it's all good. Shout out to Slick. Yeah. Right. Next level love us. <laughs> it's all right. all right. Big up next level. All right, let, 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 let's fast forward. I'm saying before we fast forward away from this dance song, Super Sign was literally considered the number one sound out of Europe at that point in time. Mm -hmm. They just came off a win with Addies. Mm -hmm. Their performance against y'all was kind of lacking. I'm saying like, what gave you that confidence to go against Spider like that in that dance? Because I come to demolish. Nah, yo, to answer that, let me just, just put this out there. It's, I don't think it's any sound right now that we wouldn't clash. I mean, it's, this is a sport, just like, you know, Michael Jordan had to be the best. He had to play the best. So you you gotta you gotta you can't look at it like oh this is this is a certain sound they've been around for you know for however many years. We'll, we'll clash anybody. You know if, if the offer is right and, and and the money's right, we'll clash anybody. It doesn't matter. Personally, personally, and personally, I would like to see y'all get super sonic. Personally, one on one. But let's move on. If, um, but if it's 2012. Mm -hmm. 2012. You came out of Global Clash. Obviously, you lost against Addis, but you, you put on a good performance. Mm -hmm. 2012, the biggest clash starting off the year. Dubs of Fury in Jamaica. Once again, Cosmic on the belt. 
Sal Trooper, Black Blunt, Clep- King Klepto out of camp. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was that experience like? This, this is, from personal experience, I know it's y'all second clash in Jamaica, but really the first for Tando Fire, really the first for Brian. So what was that experience like? Well, Dubs of Fury, no, Dubs of Fury was just like coming like a whirlwind. It just, yeah, we all go to Jamaica and kick off troop of them face and Avatar. Been hearing about this Avatar, so we have to say, yeah, I have to kill the Avatar because they didn't kill him in the movie, so we have to kill him in real life. <laughs> so, <laughs> Vibe Supreme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know the history. All right. So you know. You see the dub right there, right? That's a yeah, dub right. right there. Yeah, lift up that. Lift up that. That's a dub right there. Lift up your thing. Lift up your thing, Derek. Lift up your thing, Derek. Lift up your thing, Derek. Somebody go to Vibe Supreme and all that. And all these things. This is Vibe Supreme, right? Sit down, D. All right. I'm going to let it be known. Vibe Supreme. Vibe Supreme. Me and Spark used to play on Vibe Supreme. Me too. We from Bushwick and Dap. I forgot. Dap right here. We all used to play on the same sound. And to one day we link up with Easy. Easy seen the, seen the vibe. We became yeah, one. The love. And we all became one. You know what I'm saying? And this is what it is. Bushwick would come so, from. You see? So, so, Vibe Supreme was already playing. Yeah. yeah. I got with Easy. Yeah. And here come Cosmic. See, but, but Vibe Supreme was a, is a sound. You yeah, know, it's, yeah, a it's a sound. Right. It's a sound, you know, play out. And we just, you know, we just became one. It just became one big family, you know? Okay, so y'all been doing it before Cosmic. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Y'all yeah. Had before Cosmic. Yeah, in the early my 90s. Dude, then you can say that. And the dubs that behind you. A bunch of dubs. <laughs> show, them, show, show them the dubs. Look, look it up. <laughs> Madden, Madden. Look, 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 You already know. By the top of cannon juice, mate. Everybody who was cutting dubs, you know you had to go to Don Juan. You get the cleanest yeah. stuff. Or go to Ruth. By the dub. In Jamaica, mate. With the finger. Yeah, a bunch of dubs. That's a few. <laughs> That's a few. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Long time we've been doing this, man. Long time we've been doing it, man. Me personally, okay, so, 20 plus years. So now we we talking about 2012. From March 2011 to February 2012. Fast forward, y'all in Jamaica clashing against Sound Trooper, Black Blunt, King Cut though. What was that experience like? It was amazing, man. It was, it was amazing. The amount of love that, that Jamaica showed us, it, it was amazing. I was, you know, I actually played um, in Jamaica maybe a year and a half before. Just just a little, you know, local thing, but but still it, tur- it turned out to be something big because, you know, enough artists came through, you know, Big up Bosca Max. Yo, Bosca Max. Yo, respect. <laughs> you know, you know he, he, you know, that's one of the artists that, that really... Opened the door for us and, 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 and took us to Jamaica and, and, and let us play and, and, and you know yeah, respect, and, and gave us gave us that experience. So by the time Dubs the Fury came, we, we already had a buzz going out there. We already had a little you know talk was you know cosmic this cosmic that. So by the time it was it was you know Dubs the Fury, we had a nice fan base out there. So it wasn't like you know cosmic was new to Jamaica because before you know anything, I went out there myself and played for for a nice crowd and. You know, they just showed us mad love, mad, you know, mad love, so. Okay, so now, fast forward, Dubs of Fury 2012, right. mm-hmm. you in Jamaica. It gotta be something, I'm saying, that, that got y'all that link to Jamaica, and I'm saying, like, where did that come from? Well, like I said, Boscom, what, what happened was, um, Dubs of Fury, what a lot of people don't know, that, that was one of the dances, that was our first dance that we actually put on. We didn't, we didn't put our name on it, but that was the dance that we put on because, you know, realistically, the, the class scene in Jamaica is not what it's like in New York, but we still wanted to get a buzz out there, you know? And, and you know, luckily we, we had the link, you know, with Trooper, you know, and we had the link with, with, with Black Blunt, you know, and um, we just made it happen. We just so, so basically, this was a cosmic collaboration with... With, with, yeah, bar, yeah, well, yeah, well, 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 production, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So. out of Portmore. So, mm-hmm. so besides, yeah. besides trying to bust yourself in New York, y'all making links in Jamaica, trying to bust yourself. Yeah, which we 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 trying to take this global. I mean, you know, we all from Brooklyn. We all some some. Yo, I'm gonna keep it real. We all some Brooklyn heads that that just love love class. We love the music, and we said to ourselves that yo, if we could, if 
if we gonna do this, we gonna we gonna take it all the, all away. You know, we taking this global because the average the average kid from Brooklyn, we don't you know they don't get to dra- travel and do some of the things that we've been doing. So we just blessed that we able to do it. All right, so fast forward, we mm-hmm. talking about Dubs of Fury, right? Four sounds. The sound from Canada got eliminated first, from what I heard. Mm-hmm. Big up Polly. Sound, sound <laughs> Trooper, who, from what I've seen, y'all mm-hmm. got some type of friendship with Sound Trooper, but Sound Trooper, you know what I'm saying, was still fighting in the clash. Yeah. He got mm-hmm. eliminated, mm-hmm. and it came down to y'all and Black Blunt. Mm-hmm. Now, the experience of clashing in New York and Jamaica, it seems like something different because <laughs> what happened in the tune for tune. I'm gonna let you explain. <laughs> you want me to talk? That's that. Was yeah. there? Yeah, I was there. Of course, I was Just, there. All right, well, let me explain. You see, in Jamaica, it was more like a, a of a younger crowd. Six. So you know they don't see. I don't know. Me in Jamaica, I would think they know the reggae music, but the younger youths don't really know. So if they're gonna hear a cartel, they're gonna rail up for cartel more or less. They rail up for a John Holt, a, a John Holt, or, or something Marcia like that. Griffiths. So that's what type of dance was more of a younger crowd in the dance. Okay. Yeah, so it kind of, it kind of threw us off in a sense because, you know, I, I've been going to class for a long time, and every you know from what I understand, from what I know, when you, when it comes down to tune for tune, yeah. your big guns come out. In the Duff for Duff part, it was a little bit different from New York. Like in New York, we're accustomed to playing big tunes, big mm-hmm. caliber tunes. In Jamaica, it was a little bit different. It was more of a dance hall in the tune for tune. But you know, when we from New York, big tune fly. Now, when you say dance, so what, what do you actually mean? Like a cartel, like in New York, you can't play a cartel in tune for tune. Yeah, you do. Hey, like yeah. it's straight hard D Brown or hardcore. singing vocal tune, a hardcore mm-hmm. tune. It was a little bit different there, cause that's what we was trying to do. But you know, all right, cause actually y'all was leading in dub for dub. Um, you s- y'all was leading in dub yeah, for dub but- against Black Month, <laughs> right? And and it, it seemed like Black Blunt switched momentum against y'all and, and started playing cartel. Yeah, they started playing the new dance or art. Yeah, but even aside from that, yeah. there was a lot of things that took place in Duff or Dub. The way it was, the rounds was, the two rounds was judged, was screwed up. I got, S- scratch that, scratch that. We're making excuses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, scratch that. Yeah. You lost the dance, we lost the dance. Don't even get into that. People can hear the audio. And, yeah, 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 yeah. Scratch that. Hecklers is known to be up front in a lot of these clashes. Mm-hmm. You hear us vocally on the mic. Yeah. We coined the phrase called... New old tunes. New old, old tunes, tunes. yeah. Mm-hmm. Brand new old tunes. tunes. Yeah, right. I like the same. Bra- brand new old brand tunes. New old I like tunes. the <laughs> I like the same. Now, I would have credited that to the quality of music, but I want to hear your point of view. I like the same. You see, but, but <laughs> if you really look at the whole industry, the whole music... The whole reggae culture, dance hall, everything. You, you have to go back. You have to because not saying the music that's out right now is not good, but let's be honest with ourselves. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. Really, the music from 10, 15, 20 years ago holds a lot more weight. Meaning that if you get a dub cut by a certain artist from back then, it will last longer than an artist that let's say bust a year ago. It's it's the truth. So, I mean, let's look at it from a, a business point of view. Wouldn't it be smarter to get those brand new old tunes in your box? Because after all, we're a new sound. You have to build. You have to, you need certain tunes in your if box just to compete. If you're a class sir, back in the days when the old, Elder Sounds was clashing, they had every song that came out. When you listen to Stone Love, Bass, I see Gyro, they had every single tune that came out on 45 on dub plate. So, so you have you not? have to go back in order to go forwards. Bottom line, you have to go back. The same new old tunes? I, I kind of like that at Global Clash. Them new mm-hmm. old tunes are the tune that I kill them. Yeah. I, yeah, li- I, li- I, like, I like new old tunes. You know why? There's a thing called ammunition. Because you don't go war with no ammunition. You need bullets to fire at sound boy and kill him. But my point is, when we cut a bunch of old tunes, <laughs> we cut it different. Okay, That's we, the point, uh, to make us to, sound different. With, with that being said, that. cosmic, you know, world on the street is cosmic, is a money sound. So, a lot of customs is coming out of the box right now. Mm-hmm. But, 
It's not the regular customs. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a regular yeah. customs. I'm hearing customs, 90s tunes, cut as customs. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to know your music to be in the business. No, You have to know what tunes are more effective for the, the, the crowd that you're playing for. So if I'm playing at a dance in, in, in Brooklyn, of course I'm going to go to a, 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 a artist that busts in Brooklyn. That's just, that's just Sound Clash 101. I mean... I would say you call us the money sound. The same way you spend money for dubs, we do. The only thing we use is our brain and creativity. As a new sound coming up, I'm a sound class fan. I've heard custom since 93, Addie's playing in Biltmore. Mm -hmm. What make you go so hard as far as cutting customs? Because Cosmic is known as a sound that play a lot of customs. Whether it be good or bad, whether it be negative or positive, Y'all play a lot of customs. What make y'all do that? It, it, it's just like asking that question to a sound like, let's say, Mighty Crown. The last three or four clashes I heard Mighty Crown, they play more customs than we do. Because they're Mighty Crown, it's okay. Because it's, you know, it's Mighty Crown. But because we're a new sound, but we're not allowed to play customs, I think it brings a little mm -hmm. creativity to the dance. It brings a little... Different. It brings something different than the regular. I, and, and I think, actually... Bringing the customs and going so hard on it is one of the reasons why we're putting this, you know, in a, in a league, in a different league than, than let's say, uh, you know, a regular sound because we take that extra mile, you know. But at the same time, you know, it's it's all music, you know, custom or not. It's, it's just about being creative with it. That's all. Just being creative with it. Cosmic basically has been in a lot of what. Heckler's term microwave clashes. Right. Mm -hmm. The people, purists, clash purists, want to see more one on ones. Warzone happened in March, and that was the dance of the year. It was a one on one Hell dance. Look. A lot of people want to see one on one dances. Before you answer that, I want to see it too. You see, but, but you have to also understand. All right, let, let, let's be realistic with the whole thing now. We're a new sound. You know, unless we promote our own dance, which we plan on doing, a lot of promoters are not going to take that chance because it can go 50-50. You know, trying to bust a new sound on a one-on-one -on -one clash, you might not get the support that you feel because a lot of people don't know your sound. A lot of people don't know who are you to, to go one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that's one of the reasons that brought the whole clash scene down was because you was having these one-on-one -on -one clashes that was flopping. You know? Okay, well, with that being said then, but, the, but, but, but wait, 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 don't Cosmic. get it twisted. We'll play anybody one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, that's not everybody. Like, don't <laughs> don't get said, it twisted. Said, I'm just saying, don't don't get it twisted. With that being said, Cosmic as a two-year-old sound, as a sound that within the last year build up a hype, I would say that you have a fan base mm -hmm. that's kind of unnormal right now. A lot of young sets don't have the type of fan base that I see following Cosmic. What do you attribute to that? But that's what we do it for. We do it for the young sounds. And, and, and we do it for the young sounds to show all the young sounds that look, you don't have to be and stay small and play in the little, little beanie beanie classes. You can do it too. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that, like that's what we play for. Like, we playing for the young sounds and the new sounds to help them, like, have... And, and we encourage the young sounds to, to be able to say, like, yo, we'll play against anybody and we'll play against the big, bad, quote-unquote sounds that's out there. That's what we do it for. So basically, you understand what Cosmic, I'm saying? So basically, Cosmic is taking on any challenges. Any, yeah. Anybody. If it's a trophy... Anybody. If it's a trophy... Anybody. If it's a trophy, like, we ain't in it for the money. If it's a trophy involved, you put a trophy on that on that table and say y'all playing for a trophy because a trophy lasts forever. And a trophy is proof forever. You put a trophy on there and easy call me, it's on. So with that being said, you telling me Cosmic is confident against anybody. Any sound. Any sound. Anybody. Any if it's a trophy involved, any sound. it's on. And I always told Easy that. You call me and ask me, do I want to clash such and such, such and such? 
Okay. Let's do it. It's on. With that being said, I'm going to start throwing the fist right now. Yeah. Blunt Posse, Tech Nine. I would say these are sounds that I consider in cosmic weight class based on the dub place that I hear you, you, you guys playing. Mm -hmm. So, basically, how do you feel about taking on that tier of sounds in New York right now? The Blunt Posse's, the, the LP, um, the Blunt Posse's, the um, Tech Nines. Anybody. Anybody. Yeah. If it's a yeah. trophy no. involved, yeah. Yeah. anybody. You deaf? <laughs> this is getting Because yeah, we're not, we're, we're not going to do I'm it. not talking about tech. tech I said nine. anybody. No, if there's a trophy, if it's one of them gold things that can sit up an easy crib 15 no, years no. from now, anybody. Like <laughs> well, we, we, we want to do a one-on-one. -on -one. We, 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 we want to do a one And, you know... I would say we put ourselves out there in a sense where we, you know, we're willing to clash any sound one on one. But you know, besides the internet talk, nobody is really coming to the table with it. Nobody, everybody is just talking about it. Nobody's really coming to the, the, you know, it's very easy to get access to Cosmic. Everybody knows how to get in contact with Cosmic. So if anybody wants the one on one date, you know, it's it could happen. It could happen. So actually, are you actively? Waiting for a promoter to call you? Well, or, or can we expect Cosmic to actually put out their own dance? Well, we want to we, we want, we want put out our own dance. It's just a matter of who was who willing to accept it. That's that's the bottom line. That's that's the bottom line. That, that's the end of the story. Who was willing to... to, to All right, so a, a, as, as a selector, as a sound owner, as a sound man, what sound do you actually look up to like as your influence, like, as a selector, as, as wanting to clash, as who drives you in the business. What sound can you say actually? Well, it's a couple of sounds. It was crazy because everybody, everybody is different. Sound, got their own. They got their own. I'm not gonna say everybody got their own person they look up to, but everybody yeah. got their own person that they. It, it, it's, every it, sound that they. It, they it's no. They who inspired you. I don't have to tell you. That's, that's, that's an easy one. one. That's well, an easy I, I'll tell you, son. Well, you like, straight up, I'm a straight Gyro fan, son. And Ricky Trooper. Okay. That's easy. that's who I look easy. up to from, from, since birth. Like, Trooper and Gyro, you can't tell me nothing. Why? Understand? Why? It, it, because Gyro is just a straight killing machine since I knew Gyro. And Trooper, musically, a straight killing machine. And that's what I'm on. Okay. Killing machine. Yeah. Easy. You understand? It's killing. Murder. As a sound owner selector, I mean. It, it, it's a couple of sounds that, that I, I would say I look up to in a sense. Um, definitely Bass Odyssey. Definitely Gyro. You know, but at the same time, one of my favorite sounds personally is, is Downbeat. You know, I, I'm I'm more into the music. I, I I'm more into the foundation. I'm more into yeah. to, you know, because that that that's what I I, I grew up. You know, the, the 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 new. You know, I'm not saying you know I'm the, the whole killing clashing thing is cool, but the whole mellow vibe, the whole foundation singing, that's what I'm more into. And you can hear that in the dubs. If you if if you download the cosmic juggling and spur tree. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> we all, we all, we all like downbeat. Yeah, yeah. I like downbeat too, but yeah, I'm just, he's just downbeat. I'm trooper. I just, got, I'm more so into so clashing. I will humiliate you just so like trooper. Two sides. Tondo is an MC. Is an MC who inspire you. Who will you have three you. main selector? One stands out out of all, but you have three. You have Rory from Stone Love. You have Tony Mataran and you have Pink Panther from Black Cat. Bah. Through the years, I always, whether Black Cat win or lose, I always say Black Cat. Anybody you ask about me, they say, yeah, <laughs> Black Cat, a theme thing. <laughs> them lose yeah. the other day, but I rate them same. Brian, way. that's a selector. Yo, straight, I gotta say, Squingy. My mom's are from St. Anne, Brownstown. We know them place. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I met Squingy in 96. I met him in St. Anne. Squingy, my selector. 
And I gotta say, Papa Ez, my pops, the man taught me music, you know what I'm saying? Straight. He would never play no big sound still, but he was in England, you know what I'm saying, selecting. I just got the music. That's how I know all the old music, the older music, you know what I'm saying? Right. Shout out to London, yeah, selecting G. <laughs> Papa <laughs> Ez, you see? Dab, say something. I have a lot of influence, man. Matron is one of my favorites. Bass Odyssey, At Ease, of course, original Brooklyn. LP, Earth Rule. I mean, I respect everybody that contributed to the game. True. You know, I grew up listening to all of them. Defend themselves there! Easy! Where the Brooklyn man we can defend themselves there! I want you to Mr. go! Catching, grab a party for a mug And plenty by the bug Cause some jump and no risk where the one life them up Grab a party for a mug And plenty by the bug Cause some jump and no risk where the one Stop. life them Stop! I'm gonna be honest with you, before Obi came in the picture before anything, like when I first started, Sugar Miner was giving me my dub. That's how I got that Gregory and Sugar Miner. He was giving me my foundation dub place from Jamaica. Yo, I got the flyer in the crib still, son. Oh, the one that, that was at? Yeah, I said, and it said on the bottom of the flyer. The, the premiere of Cosmic, Cosmic. yeah. Cosmic. Mm -hmm. I, I kept that flyer, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sugar Miner. Mm -hmm. Um, Briggy, and you know what's crazy? Nancy, you know, King Falwell. he died the day before that happened. Before, the, the day before, he passed away. He passed away, and I spoke. I, to, I, I literally spoke to him two days before that. Literally spoke to him because I was getting all my dubs from him. As a matter of fact, I go to my my um Gmail, and you still see Lincoln Miner sending me all my dubs. Anyway, cosmic sound, murdery sound in the dead song. Cosmic sound, murdering sound in the dead song. Rocklick sound and we're playing So the next combination I know what now I'm singing on Let me tell you That one a deadly 